Hey guys, welcome back for another week of Angie's Mannies. I feel like we've had a really productive week. We had a lot of videos go up. We got a mini collection tour, part one of the haul for January, and a review that we'll talk about in the nail polishes. So let's get into it. The first nail polish that I wore this week was a Color Club one that I got at the Trans Design 99 cent sale. I gotta tell you first that I wasn't super excited about any of the nail polishes I got from the 99 cent sale. Um, some of the colors were good, but most of them were watery. Just is what it is. It was 99 cents. Anyway, so this is Color Club Shabby Drab. Uh, it is a steely gray blue color. I feel like I've been saying that a lot lately, so this must be the color that I feel like wearing. Just a straight cream, took three coats, like I said, it was pretty watery. I did like the color when it was on my nails, though. So that's what I wore on Sunday, Color Club's Shabby Drab. And I don't know if I've ever mentioned, I don't talk about wear time because I do change my nail polish just about every day, and I have a very hands-on job. I have my hands in machines fixing stuff, and I use my nails for tools like you should not do. So my nail polish does, it doesn't always chip, but my nail polish does probably chip more than average wear. On Monday I wore Cirque Colors Killer Kitsch. This is the one that was in my January haul that I talked about. It is a super bright, like hot pink holographic. It's gorgeous. To me it's hot pink, but I had a bunch of people tell me that from different areas of the room it looks red. So it can look pink or red. It looked pink to me. Whatever the case, I really like this. It was a good two-coater. So I decided that I wanted to try some double stamping on top of Killer Kitsch. You know where the stamps overlap just a little bit. I'd never really done that before. I do have several clear stampers, so it makes it easier to do that because you can see where you're putting it. Uh, it turned out okay. I didn't do a fabulous job. Obviously, I need more practice at it. But for a first attempt, I wasn't heartbroke. I used the stamping polishes. They don't even have colors. I just ordered this set. Sorry, I didn't realize I was off the camera. Uh, it says Nicole Diary. I ordered a whole set. I got like 12 or so off of Amazon. Maybe more than that because I remember thinking they were less than $2 and I got 18 I got them off of Amazon. They took a long time to get here. They stink horribly, but they stamp really well. And it's, uh, like I said, it says Nicole Diary. The stamping plate that I used is this new What's Up Nails B024 that I just got. I actually used this twice this week, and I'll have a close-up picture. So I just went in with the white and silver on that, and like I said, it... Definitely is something that I feel like needs practice, but it turned out okay. I was I was pretty happy with it. Then on Wednesday, I wore Super Chick Lacquer Awesome Sauce. This is the first holographic polish that I ever bought, and when I was looking it up the other day, it is still available. It's a really rich brown holographic polish. And I, when I looked it up to see if it was available, it does say that it will work for stamping because it's super pigmented. Uh, it is very pigmented. Like I said, it's a one coat polish. I never tried it for stamping, but now that I read that, I am super interested in it. This is Super Chick Lacquer Awesome Sauce. So then on Wednesday, I've had Candy Pam sitting on the rack that I have that I pick polishes off of that I want to wear or that I use my random number generator to pick. Um, I've had Candy Pam's up there forever and I just haven't worn it, but I've almost worn it so many times because I love it. So on the website, Phoebe calls this an Auburn Berry Cream. It's kind of a, a mauve red. I would call it, and it has, I think it says multi-chrome shimmer. When it's on my nails, I see a lot of pink in this. It's very pretty, very opaque. Uh, depending on application, this could probably be a one to two coater. So that was Moonshine Manny's Candied Pams. But then again, I decided I wanted to do some nail art, and I used the same stamping plate that I got from What's Up Nails, the B024. 
I got Essie's Penny Talk was also in my haul and I hadn't used it yet. So I thought that this would be a really good one to go with Candied Pam. Like I said, I see a lot of a pinky shimmer in here and this is kind of a coppery color. I loved the way that this turned out. This stamped great. Really liked the end result with stamping Penny Talk over Moonshine Manny's Candied Pams. So then on Thursday, my order from Moonshine Manny for the Ladies Celebrating Ladies um, Valentine's Collection showed up. So I won't talk about these too much because I did do a review on it, but I wore Anna Howard Shaw Day and I did two coats of this. And I used Galentine's Day as an accent. And I'll link the review up here. So I came home from work Friday morning and my husband and I went to breakfast and then I came home and filmed that review because the post office had delayed my nail polishes. And I put the Pacifica Blushing Bunnies, which is also a new to me polish. I really like this color. It's kind of a peachy pink. It was a little bit of a thin formula for me. I did have to do three coats for it not to be streaky. But it was the first time I opened it and polishes tend to thicken up a little bit. So I would say that I, I do have high hopes for, that this will thicken up to be a two coater. It's a really pretty color so I wasn't really sad about the three coats. They dried really good and it was fine. And I had gotten this Valentine's polish off of Etsy. This is Glitterfied Nails I Love You. Um, this is super pretty on the nails. It turned out really good. There is quite a bit of glitter in this. There are some little red micro glitters and some pink and red circles and some medium sized circles and then there are some pink and red hearts in here. There's a lot going on in this polish. So this painted on really well. So I did have to fish a tiny bit for the hearts. And the only thing that I would tell you is to be aware that if you use a toothpick to place the red glitter hearts, it does scratch them a little bit. And you can see that in my final picture of this. But I really was excited about it. I think it's a great Valentine's polish. This is Glitterfied Nails. I love you. So in my haul video, I told you that I was going to have to try and wear my dollish polish. I'm not crazy. My mother had me tested my Sheldon polish. And I tried earlier in the week to wear it over Seize the Gray. But this is not a 100% clear base. It's a little bit yellowy, so it tinted Seize the Gray enough that I took it off. And I just, it was one of the days that I wore just something easy after that. So then I did it again today, and because it has a yellowy base, I wanted to put it over either something dark or something yellowy. So today I used OPI's No Tan Lines. I do really like this color, which is interesting because like I said, I'm not generally a huge fan of oranges or yellows. This also took me three coats, so I'm not sure if I'm just having an off application week or what. But also this was the first time this one was opened too. So that was OPI's No Tan Lines. And I put Dollish Polish, I'm Not Crazy, My Mother Had Me Tested. And I actually tried it two different ways over OPI's No Tan Lines. I sponged it on a couple fingers and I painted it on. And this glitter is thick enough that it looks the same whether it's sponged on or swiped on. Um, I really did like this. There's so much going on in here. There is... Red, black, green, white, gold, there's some bars, there's squares, there's circles. I think there's some purple in there. I just love this. It looks a little crazy and it makes me kind of smile every time I say that because we all know Sheldon's a little bit crazy, even though we love him. So my Zoya mystery box that's not a mystery is supposed to be coming on Friday and I think that I will do probably an unboxing even though even though they had spoiler videos so everybody pretty much knows what's coming in them anyway but we'll see which lipstick I got. Topic Tuesday this week is your most owned brands and the top five from each one. So if I can pick five <laughs> out of the brands 
then uh, I will definitely be doing that video. At some point, I was thinking we'd do top 10 or tops of colors and brands, but it's so hard for me to pick my favorites, and I feel like it's a really fluid and fluctuating thing. So just because those are my favorites now doesn't mean they will necessarily be exactly the same the next time that we do it. Sorry my battery gave out on me, so I'm sure the camera angle changed just a little bit. Oh, also I need to put up the second half of my January haul. And I think that's it for what's coming up this week. I had a really good week this week, and I hope that you guys did too. Let me know what your favorite polishes were this week. And let me know if you have any tips and tricks for the double stamping. Thank you for spending this time with me today, and I will see you guys in a couple days for our next video. Thanks guys! Bye!